Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Late Night Football. Today, we got a great mock draft for y'all. Seven rounds and how the Arizona Cardinals will win the NFL draft in 2024. Guys, let's waste no time and get straight into this thing. And as always, if you're enjoying the video, please drop a like. It helps me out tremendously. Let's do this thing. Cardinals are picking four overall, and they got tons of value. They also pick at 27, I think, and a potential tradeback candidate, might I say myself. Wink, wink, kind of a tip-off right there, but let's see how this video goes and how these picks fall, because that is what matters most. Let's turn this this speed down all the way so we can see how these picks fall one we're gonna go caleb two has been iffy on pff i bet it's may in real life but let's see how it actually happens may so the board fell caleb may neighbors and marvin is left for us at four i believe strongly and i know it in my heart that if the minnesota vikings see Jaden daniels slide to four overall on the board they will immediately i mean immediately trade up and get this guy on their roster with no hesitation they will send pick 11, 23, the whole house, whatever it takes. They need this guy on their team badly, and they want him as well. And with that being said, I don't see the Chargers moving on draft day. I think the Cardinals are the clear-cut destination right there for a trade-up. But with Marvin Harrison Jr. on the board, do we want to do that? Do we care about getting more value when Marvin Harrison Jr. is on the board? Usually it does not fall like this, but today it did. I'm taking Marvin. I'm not even going to think twice about this pick. Let's take Marvin Harrison Jr. and see how this goes. Boom. Marvin Harrison Jr. has been taken off the board. J.D. Daniels goes at 6. We're going to let this thing keep going. I'll meet you guys at our next pick at pick 27 overall. Fellas, we are back on the board at pick 27 overall, and we got value right here. We need a guard. We need a center. We need any D-line, and we need a cornerback. Nate Wiggins, not a bad move right there. I am also loving Jackson Powers Jr. out of Oregon. I think that's going to be my pick. Ain't going to lie to you, and yes, it is. We need one. He is a great, phenomenal center. And, man, we got to protect our quarterback in Kyler. Let's take this man at 27 overall. Welcome, Jackson Powers Jr. You are a Cardinal. I, let's waste no time. We're already back on the clock. I was going to transition, but no need to. The Cardinals are back on the clock at 35 overall, and who are we going to take? The Cardinals here have options. They got Zach Frazier. They could move him to guard. I don't really see that happening. They got an interior lineman. Let's see what we can do now. We got Mike Sandra still. We got Kamari, some good value. We got Brayden Fisk. The board falls like this, and the Cardinals are back on the clock at 35. Brayden Fisk, a Ford Raptor, as I like to call him, is a great pass rusher and just a great D tackle. Brayden Fisk has just soared through this draft process, and he belongs in the Arizona Cardinals at 35. Welcome to the team, guys. We are helping that D-line out tremendously with Brayden Fisk now on our team. It is the top of the third round, and the Cardinals are back on the clock. We've addressed some positions. We've addressed wide receiver, clearly. We've addressed center. We've addressed D-line. We still need to kind of address corner and guard, but we could also address more D-line, you feel me? we got options. we got options here. I think it depends on the values on the board, especially in the third round. So here we go. Let's take a look. Hicks, McMillan, ain't bad. Colson ain't bad. Kyrie Jackson, big fan of Kyrie Jackson. That could be a good pick right there. I like Kyrie Jackson a lot. Braylon Trice, I love that value too. You also got Sweat right here. I think it comes down to Sweat, Trice, and Kyrie. And we haven't touched the cornerback position yet. So let's take a swing on Kyrie Jackson and welcome him to our cornerback room. All right, team, look at this draft capital remaining. This is ridiculous. We got 71, 90, 104. The list just goes on. I have a draft strategy, okay? I see a player I like here. I see two players I like here. But one of them I think we can get at 90 overall. Let's see how the board falls. He's an interior lineman. I think Masek McCormick will be there at 90 overall. He's right on the line. You know what I mean? He's ranked 94, 92 overall, ADP-wise. So let's see how this falls. But right now, I'm going to for sure sure up that interior D-line in Trevon J. Sweat. Huge fan of him. Let's make it happen. Let's see how it falls to 90. Let's cross our fingers and hope our guy lands there as well. Gang, we are back on the clock at 90, and the plan worked. Would you look at this? Guess who's sitting right here? Mason McCormick out of South Dakota State. Huge fan of him as a player. Now, we have some other good value, too. I don't know how Javon Baker slid this far, to be honest. I don't know how Renardo Green is down here. I mean, the, I guess Renardo Green's fair, but Javon Baker is pretty – he's a pretty nice slide. Do we take Javon Baker, or do we protect our quarterback? We have Marvin, but it wouldn't hurt to get another wideout, just in the rookie class. I'm loving the value of wide out. What, let's see what other guards we got. That's a good question. What other guards are left? Mason, what do we pick next? We pick 104. Mm, this is kind of the last really good guard, and this is kind of the last really good wide out. We have Marvin Harrison Jr. Let's just, we're not punting in the position, but let's just wait. We have Marvin Harrison Jr., and we need a guard badly. So let's, let's go guard. Let's address our need. He's a very good player. It's not like we're reaching for him at whatsoever. Let's take Mason McCormick. This is who we wanted all along. Very glad it worked out this way. See you guys at 104. 
Team, we are back on the clock at 104, and there's some good value right here. Let me show you. We've addressed all our needs. Every single need has been addressed with a player or two for some, but let's keep it going. What is the best value overall that we could take? Because we got everybody. We've addressed our needs. When skimming through here, there's like two players that come to mind. DJ James. I like Cowing. Not as much as James, so it's DJ James and Carter for me. Really good players. We already got 2D linemen. Let's go one more cornerback in DJ James out of Auburn. Like this pick a lot. Let's make it happen. Throw him in the cornerback rotation. Pick 138. The Cardinals are back on the clock. And guys, we've addressed all our positions. And then some. Like, it's looking great. Let's take a look at wideout real quick just so I can get a feel for what's left on the board. Yeah, it's pretty much been milked pretty well. PFF, like all these simulations, they just bleed the wideout position dry, if I might say so myself. So we're at 138. What do we want? We're taking value. I might triple up on cornerbacks. I might quadruple up on cornerbacks. Whatever's there, I'm taking. I like Carson. I don't mind a swing on Jordan Travis, especially right here on uh, round five. Not bad at all. Isaac's a very good running back. Like Makai Wingo. Let's go with... Let's go with... Let's bulk up this D-line just a little bit more. And Makai Wingo, I like his value in the fifth round right here. He's a very good player, and he will definitely help out our D-line room. Goodness gracious, y'all have so many picks this year, Cardinals fans, but we're going to keep this thing going. The guy I was looking at to take a swing on 30 picks ago has slid all the way to the back of the fifth. Jordan Travis, do we swing on him? We got our QB, obviously, but we could develop a backup into something nice. Do we take a swing on Jordan Travis? Screw it. Let's do it. We have so many picks. We've addressed every single need. Why not? Let's do it. Let's take Jordan Travis, and hopefully he hits in the long run for this squad. We are back on the board, and I'm wasting no time. And I'm going to take Tareem Still. I've looked at all these guys, and this is for sure the best value on the board. I like Still a lot at cornerback. Let's bulk up that cornerback room even more. The final pick in the seventh round, who are we taking? Let's take a scan across the board. Come look with me. Trent, Dylan. I like I like Dylan a lot. Good, good move. Trey, Isaiah, Dial, Hanson. You know what? Looking at all this value, I'm liking, I'm liking our backup center here in Dylan. I think it's a good move. He's got the size to last in the league. He's going to be just okay. I like Dylan a lot as a prospect. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's finish up this mock draft. Arizona fans, this is my mock draft. What did you think? Let's review this thing pick by pick. Marvin Harrison Jr. for overall. I don't have to explain myself there. Let's keep it going. Jackson Powers Johnson at center. I think we lock up that center position very nicely with him right there. Fisk, 35. In the second round at 35, we definitely had options to pick there. You could always do something different. Let me know in the comments what you would change for the 35th overall pick. But I personally like Fisk, and he's going to help out that D-line a ton. And now we're going to 66 overall. We got Kyrie Jackson, Sweat to sure up that D-line. Mason McCormick. So we got our center and our guard. We're just hitting our needs. A cornerback in DJ James. Makai Wingo. Jordan Travis. The fly on the quarterback position and then we snag Tariq still and then Dylan as our backup center guys so many picks here for the Cardinals let's let's count this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven picks in this year's draft the Cardinals are destined to turn it around what did you think what would you change about my draft drop it below Cardinals fans you can't offend me it's all good I totally understand drop all those comments below on what you would change if you enjoyed the video please drop a like because it helps me out tremendously if you enjoy this kind of content I'm bringing you a mock draft for every single squad in the NFL every single team go sub below because I'm bringing it all throughout April I promise and if you subscribed and if you liked the video and you were just a super fan we have a brand new patreon not here but here we got two patrons in our all pro tier thank you cisco thank you david they get an additional weekly video per week and access to our q a sessions and then at our mvp tier mom is holding it down she gets full access to our rookie draft guide you get five draft day tips and a bonus tip tier based rankings for quarterback running back wide receiver and tight end and of course a one pager cheat sheet so on draft day you are marking these guys off as the draft goes by and you're going to dominate your rookie draft for dynasty fantasy football if y'all watch this far in the video thank you so much i appreciate y'all more than you know have the best day i love you guys peace now listen up, y'all. It is time for the 2024 NFL Draft Wide Receiver Tier List. And this is the first time I have ever had, I mean ever, had two players in my God Tier. Let's get it started. Introducing my two players in my God Tier. Y'all know their names. Say it with me. Marvin Harrison Jr. out of OSU. And Malik Neighbors out of Bellas.